Hey, buddies, we're back with, like, no music. Weird. Yeah. Just looking around this place. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. game. Kind of rude, though, not to talk to her right away. I guess so. <laughs> Adrian Andrews. Adrian Andrews. It really has been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Wright? Nick, what's going on? Who is this woman? That is much. <laughs> well, why are you freaking out on me? Why? I just thought it'd be more dramatic if I got all worked up. That's all. <laughs> Mystic Maya, you shouldn't let him off the hook so easily. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the series has the greatest characters. I love her, like, every... Well, I don't know what you call them. Every still. Uh -huh. You know, like, they all have so much personality. Yes. So good. Please, Maya. Don't say anything that'll needle pearls further. Mr. Wright, was there... Or Mr. Wright was there for me when I really needed help. I think help. you should be cheerful all the way now. But then that's just my voice. Mr. Yeah, Wright was there sure. when he needed me. Mr. Wright was there for me when I really needed help. It... It was something that happened seven months ago. You remember, don't you? The Nickel Samurai case. Not really. I was stuck in a dark wine cellar. <laughs> Did that escape your memory, Nick? <laughs> After that, I quit being a manager and started this job. Wow, that's tough. I'm sorry, Miss Andrews. If it wasn't for us... No, don't say that. I'm glad the whole thing happened. Thanks to you and everyone else that was involved, I was able to change my whole life. I really am grateful. Woo, that's a relief. <laughs> he says woo in his head. I'm really good at sounding like myself. Thank you. <laughs> Lordly Taylor. I'm really impressed, Miss Andrews. Handling a huge exhibition like this must have been very tiring. Well, Lordly Taylor is, aw, Ben. His last name is Taylor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Lordly Taylor is celebrating their 20th an or 200th anniversary this year. The works on display in the main exhibit hall are worthy of the finest museums. Woohoo! Did you hear that, Barry? The finest museums! Yes, I did! That's really wonderful! <laughs> so, the basement warehouse is pretty well protected, huh? <laughs> it's like he's casing it. Yeah, totally. Of course it is. After all, there are some priceless treasures in here. The security guards are all highly... <clears throat> the security guards are all very highly trained as well. That sounds good. So, what is that face she's making? Yeah, what is that face she's making? Hmm. Pardon me. I owe a great deal of thanks to that badge. It's the only reason that I'm still here today. Oh, come on now. That's not true. I think what Nick means to say is, it wasn't thanks to the badge. It was thanks to me. <laughs> Tell the truth, Nick. I know that's what you were thinking. No, no way, Maya. <laughs> that was lame. Mega Tomahawk! Um, so what do you think about this? Sorry, I can't be of more help. But I really don't have anything I can say about that. Oh, come on. Can't put that in the museum? Give me a few hundred bucks? <laughs> hey, we didn't look at this. Did we? Yep. Ah. Uh, Lordly Tar Taylor. I wanted to do something nice for you and your friends, Mr. Wright. So that's why you arranged this exhibit? She's just doing it as a favor? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, it is. I knew that the Korean village was the hometown of your assistant, Maya. I thought it would be great to let the rest of the world know about it, too. Huh, but that's not exactly thanking me per se, is it? I could really, really use the money that you should remit on your bill. <laughs> yes, I was going to say, or... Oh. No, Phoenix wouldn't be able to... Phoenix would come in his pants before anything started. 
All right. Uh, <clears throat> Maybe, but who'd want to see an exhibit on the treasures of Phoenix Wright? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can't argue with that one, but I could really use the money. <laughs> All right. Let's look around this place, and she has nothing else to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get out of the way. Uh, Lady. Ah. This computer! It looks like it's hooked up to the security camera above. And that means what? The camera is set up to take a photo of anyone that goes in or out of the storeroom. Then the data from the camera gets uploaded to this computer here. That's what. I see! That's some pretty high-tech stuff! It looks like a part of the big signboard. All I can read on it is burr. Aha! I've got it! Maybe it's supposed to say hamburger! <laughs> Why would anyone write hamburger on us that big? <laughs> like, maybe for the World Hamburgers Festival or something? I kind of doubt it. Ah, I got it! Maybe it said spaghetti. <laughs> Why? Why are you talking about food? Oh, wait, that's normal for you. <laughs> anyway, it says burr. There's no way it could say spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe it was a typo. It might have said Spaghetti Festival. What do you think? <laughs> okay, to me. Besides, spaghetti is the only thing more tangled than your reasoning. <laughs> it's a pretty big typo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Literally. <laughs> Mr. Nick, what's that big door over there? It looks like it's the door to the actual storeroom. I can see lots of big boxes and stuff back there. Really? Let's go in. I want to take a look. Oh, I'm sorry. Unauthorized personnel aren't allowed in there. Did you hear that, Nick? We are unauthorized personnel. <laughs> Kinda hot. <laughs> <clears throat> Why are you telling me that? All right. Is there any ladders in here? Oh, oh there is. <laughs> Look, a ladder! <laughs> <laughs> That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Right, sorry. Why do I feel like we've had this exact same conversation somewhere <laughs> before? Uh, funny. More paint, boxes, something up here. What does this sign say? Organic, I'm guessing? It says organi. No, it doesn't, Nick. It says organized. You just can't see the last two letters. Yeah, well, I guess no one else could read it either because this place is a mess. Yeah, you must really... You must feel right at home, huh? <laughs> the A is like off tilter or something's going on there. Couldn't have just been bombed. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Mystic Maya, take a look next to the door. That, that's Mystic Amy, right? Yes, that's a statue of the woman who invented the Kurain channeling technique, Amy Fay. This statue is on loan from one of the training halls in the Fay Branch family. In fact, it just arrived this morning. Amy Fay's golden statue added to the court record. Why are things being added to the court record? <laughs> yeah, why <laughs> Why am I keeping a court record handy when there's We're no crime? We're just chilling. This is just our, you know. You need a vacation, fun time. Phoenix, right? <laughs> What's that creepy looking thing she's holding? Don't ask me, how should I know? Well, you are the future master, right? Maybe so, but this is the first time I've ever seen this statue. That thing is the Korean sit shit. Shang Sito Itoi. Shang. Shigesato Itoi. Shigesato. Call it the Shigesato Itoi. Shigesato Itoi. Creator of Earthbound. It's a ceremonial it's sword. <laughs> I would say that's closer to Shigesato Itoi, almost as close as his real name is. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna have to say it a lot, so let's just go with that. It'll be our tribute she, she, to she Earthbound. To. 
<laughs> Anyways, it's a serial mill. Okay. It's not a real weapon, so the blade isn't sharp. Oh, Zoe! I wanted to cut something! <laughs> Why are you eyeing? What are you eyeing me for? Oh, look! It's already 8 o'clock. Have you all eaten yet? Um, well, actually. I've already made a reservation at the restaurant on the 12th floor. Why don't we all dine together? Oh, I like the sounds of that. Dine. It sounds so fancy. I'll have the kids lunch. Ha ha ha, barely eat dinner, not lunch. Why don't you go for it and really eat your fill with the kids dinner? Okay, in that case, one kid's dinner for me! <laughs> <laughs> Shall we head upstairs then? After that pleasant evening, all that remained was to wait for the exhibition's opening. It was wonderful seeing Miss Andrews looking so happy. None of us could have imagined that the very next day something terrible would happen. Would happen. <laughs> <laughs> It had a dot dot dot. It certainly did. All right. October 12th. This is terrible! What the? What the? You're cleaning the toilet again! <laughs> <laughs> I never knew you were such a toilet freak! <laughs> it's not even... Give me a break, would you? My brain just hit the snooze button for the fifth time. Um, I'm going to turn on the TV! We've got an update on the recent treasure heist. Based on clues from the scene of the crime, authorities have announced that they believe that it was the work of renowned phantom thief, Mask to Mask. M -m -m mask to Mask? According to the spokesperson, Lodley Taylor received a threat, of letter, th a threat letter some days ago. This is the fifth heist by this phantom thief who only targets rare treasures. L -l Lordly Taylor? Well, Nick, what are you going to do? Don't you dare go back to scrubbing the toilet! Treasure! Lordly Taylor! You don't think? M -m -m my medication! Yes, now get up, Nick! It was so like pipe out the mask! How more valuable treasure! The curing single urn was stolen! What? <laughs> Wait, this is urgent. <laughs> so, what do you think about this? Mm, uh, what about it, Barry? I'm not certain. What do you think, Mr. Nick? <laughs> Maybe three heads aren't better than one. Aww. Oh, hey, it's my Mangatama! So, what do you think, Nick? Isn't it neat? I was able to change her, uh, or get that off her mind yeah, pretty quickly. Yeah, totally. <laughs> it sure is. Being able to peek into people's minds is definitely a nice advantage for a lawyer. What? How do you do that? <laughs> she doesn't even know about it. What do you mean? You gave me this thing. Well, I knew Barry put some sort of spiritual power into it. But I had no idea it let you do something as cool as that. What? Some future leader you are. Next time you use it, let me know, okay? I want to see in people's minds too. Is this thing really all that valuable? It looks kind of, well, junky if you ask me. But it's got the soul of Mystic Amy, the founder of the channeling technique. So how much do you think you can get for it? <laughs> what? Sell the secret? Arm? You know, I never thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Barry, make a note of that. <laughs> Ways to save money. Tip 109. Sell treasures whenever possible. <laughs> whenever possible. Check. <laughs> Somehow I think Maya's going to be searching for a buyer for a long time. You know, I didn't even know this statue existed till a little while ago. Didn't Adrian say, it was, say it's from the Faye Branch family's training hall or something? Yes, there are actually a lot of training hosts scattered all over this country. He did way deep in desolate mountains. Why does it always have to be desolate mountains? <laughs> uh, whoa. 
got a whole bunch of people in here. Her hair is short there, too. She certainly seems grateful to you, Nick. Well, she was in a pretty tight spot what during that, that terrible ordeal. There's Phoenix. Actually, I'm grateful to her, too. Hmm, John, like you're not telling me something. <laughs> oh, God, I love them. I'm going to take a good look at the case file next time we get a, I get a chance. Why don't you just come in and ask me? <laughs> this is... I really miss her. Was Mystic Mia... Was she a really good lawyer? <laughs> yes, she was awesome. She taught Nick everything he knows. You should train hard and try to make her proud, Mr. Nick. Yeah, I'll do my best. You can join me on my next trip to a freezing waterfall! <laughs> I hate to break it to her, but I don't think I'll be going to... I don't think being frozen to the bone helps out in court. I'm going to have to really buckle down and get serious! Well, you're the future master of the curing channeling technique after all. Yeah, that and I have to play a big part of the sister too. Well, barely. You and you, Nick. <laughs> what? Do I look like I was born yesterday? Barely is such a cutie, isn't she, Nick? Yep. And she's smart too, just like yours truly. She's got quite a future ahead of her. I bet she would be president someday. A president that can channel past presidents? Hmm, that might just come in handy. Might. <laughs> oh god, now I need to see Pearly dressed... I need to see um, fan art of Pearly as Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be beard. pretty sweet. Oh man. <laughs> or George Washington or any president. <laughs> <laughs> Taft, yes. That would be awesome. <laughs> With mutton chops. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> and the... <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh god. Um, oh, oh, we did this. this. Alright. Alright, let's examine our place here. <laughs> Good old poster. An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it a long time ago. Maya watched it recently and she said she cried all night too. Which I guess is why it's back Which I guess is why it's back up on the wall. I'll have to check it out one of these days. What's our plant's name again? Charlie. I thought so. Charlie! A quiet decorative plant. When she was alive, Mia really loved it. She even went so far as to make it our mascot. <laughs> it it must be nice to be a plant, being able to just sit there in the sun and photosynthesize. <laughs> hey, Nick! No time for daydreaming! That's right, Mr. Nick! No time for daydreaming! Oh, man. Until I find that urn, they're going to give me a s They're not going to give me a second of peace. Want to look out on the Gatewater Hotel? Yes, I do. There's a giant building on the outside of the window. It's the Gatewater Hotel high-class luxury hotel. The chain is getting so rich that they bought a whole chunk to, a whole chunk of the next town over and started building a huge theme park. It's going to be called Gatewater Land. And to think that two years ago, it was just a little hotel for businessmen. Difficult looking legal books stand in a formidable row. They mock <laughs> Actually, I've neglected them for so long that they're covered in a layer of dust. I don't need books where I'm going. Maybe I should actually try reading them once in a while. Fuck it, you got magic. Hey, Nick! This is no time for reading! Yes, Mr. Nick! You can always read later! I guess I won't be getting any peace and quiet to even read until I... I don't fucking know what it is. <laughs> I got lost. I really feel like we should just finish cleaning the toilet. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what happened with that toilet, yeah, man, but it, it seems important. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's my desk. I don't get to use it much, so the dust bunnies are starting to mount their salt. Maybe I should wipe them out with a few well-placed swipes of my cleaning rag. 
Hey, Nick, are you trying to make me upset? Yeah, Mr. Nick, if you're worried about the cleaning, please leave it up to me! She's becoming more dramatic, Pearly. <laughs> <laughs> at least Pearls is good at cleaning. Sigh. Guess I'd better go find that urn. All right, so after the break, we'll come back and go find that urn, and mm -hmm. we'll talk to Maya a little bit more about it. See what's going on. Stay tuned, Video Games Awesome Live continues after the break with Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. <laughs> 